in a world filled with deception and uncertainty, where anxiety and worry seem to lurk around every corner, there is a profound truth that can set our hearts at ease. Why worry when we can pray? The simple yet powerful principle is beautifully illustrated in the words of Psalm 139, a chapter that reveals the depth of God's love and care for each one of us. Also, 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. From the very first verse of Psalm 139, we are reminded of God's intimate knowledge of our lives. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. Think about that for a moment. The God of the universe, the creator of all things, knows you personally. He understands your fears, your struggles, and your deepest concerns. With this knowledge, why should we ever feel the need to worry? As we continue through Psalm 139, we discover that God's presence is constant and inescapable. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? The psalmist asked in verse 7. Whether we find ourselves on the highest mountain or in the darkest valley, God is there with us. He is our ever-present help in times of trouble. When worry tries to overwhelm us, we can rest assured that God is by our side, ready to guide and support us. Psalm 139 also reveals the incredible care and attention to detail that God has put into each of our lives. For you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb psalm, 139 verse 13. Every aspect of our being, from our physical bodies to our unique personalities, has been carefully crafted by the hand of God. If he has taken such care in creating us, why would he abandon us in our times of need? My dear friends, God is faithful. When worries and anxieties threaten to consume us, Psalm 139 verse 17 offers a powerful reminder of God's all-encompassing love. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O oh God, how great is the sum of them. God's thoughts toward us are not of judgment or condemnation, but of love, grace, and compassion. He desires to give us peace and hope, even in the midst of life's storms. So why worry when we have the privilege of prayer? Prayer is our direct line of communication with the God who knows us, loves us, and has a plan for our lives. As the Apostle Paul wrote in Philippians 4, verse 6, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. When we bring our worries to God in prayer, we are invited to exchange our burdens for His peace that surpasses all understanding. Throughout Psalm 139, we see the psalmist's confidence in God's presence and protection. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. Verses 9 to 10. My friends, no matter where life takes us, we can trust that God is with us, leading us and holding us securely in His hand. In moments of worry and fear, 
let us remember the words of Jesus in Matthew 6, verse 27. Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? Worrying does not change our circumstances. It only robs us of the peace and joy that God desires for us. Instead, let us focus on the truth of Psalm 139 and the love of God that surrounds us. As we navigate the challenges and uncertainties of life, may we find comfort in the words of 1 Peter 5, verse 7, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. God invites us to bring our worries to him, to trust in his goodness, and to experience the freedom that comes from a life anchored in prayer. So why worry when we can pray? Let us embrace the truth of Psalm 139 and the assurance of God's constant presence, unwavering love and perfect plan for our lives. As we surrender our worries to Him and seek His face in prayer, we will find the strength, peace, and guidance we need to face each day with confidence and hope. In the words of the psalmist, in verses 23 to 24, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. My dear friends, let us invite God to search our hearts, to reveal our worries, and to lead us in the path of everlasting peace. For in His presence, worry fades away, and the power of prayer transforms our lives. As we approach God, let us be encouraged by John 15, verse 15. And if we know that He hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of Him. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. You may also listen to this prayer daily as you build your faith and come in agreement. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart filled with praise and adoration. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Your power is unmatched, your love is unfailing, and your grace is sufficient for all my needs. I magnify your holy name and declare that you alone are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon me. I am grateful for your unwavering presence in my life for your guidance, and for your protection. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Forgive me, Father, for the times I have fallen short of your glory, for the moments I have allowed worry to consume me instead of turning to you in prayer. I repent of my sins and ask for your mercy and grace. I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me, just as you have forgiven me. Lord, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, for I am covered by the blood of Jesus. I rebuke every spirit of fear, anxiety, and worry in the name of Jesus. I bind every attack of the enemy against my mind, body, and soul. I claim victory over depression, stress, and any form of mental or emotional oppression. I declare that I am healed by the stripes of Jesus, and I receive your divine health and wholeness in every area of my life. Father, I pray for your divine protection over my life and the lives of my loved ones. 
Surround us with your presence and shield us from all that seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. Deliver us from every snare and trap of the enemy, and grant us the wisdom to discern and overcome every challenge we face. Lord, as we navigate the days ahead, we asked that you confound every lying and deceptive spirit that seeks after our souls. Mighty God, we pray for righteous leaders to defend our liberties and uphold their vows. How precious are your thoughts towards me, O oh God! How great is the sum of them! I declare that no evil shall befall us, and no plague shall come near our dwelling, for you are our refuge and our fortress. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, knowing that you are in our midst as you promised. Lord, we ask that you pour out your blessings upon each and every one of us. Grant us the desires of our hearts according to your will and purpose for our lives. Strengthen us in our weaknesses and fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Father, we claim victory over every challenge and obstacle we face. We declare that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. We receive your healing touch in our bodies, minds, and emotions. We thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives, guiding us, comforting us, and empowering us to live a life that glorifies you. We ask for your protection and provision in every area of our lives, trusting in your goodness and faithfulness. Lord, we lay down to you all our burdens and worries that have weighed us down. We exchange our fears for faith, our anxiety for peace, and our worries for trust in you. We declare that our minds are renewed by your word, and our hearts are filled with your love. Lord, we choose to fix our thoughts on things above, on your precious promises, and on the hope we have in you. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel, Daily Jesus Prayers, for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.